And we're live. Welcome to the five, four. <laughs> Welcome to the eleventh hour of the Today Show with your hosts Adam and RJ. <laughs> Not the fourth hour. This is the eleventh hour. Yeah, girl. Today Show is all day now. It's, it's so funny. I'm just watching Friedrich from the bed. He's just looking at me, perched. This is what he's always wanted. I realized that while we were recording, he's wanted because of the couch, couch behind, was behind us. Behind us, he, he couldn't see, see us. us. He just wanted to watch. Yeah, he just wants to make sure that like he wants to be the first. I mean, he's really a supporter. Well, he's our PA. He set up all, all of these lights. I God, I wish he did. God, I, oh, we're good over here, what sir. What are you doing? We finally watched the build-up finale. We have moved we did, this. If you can tell, we moved. So that's no, this is what it's always been, looked like. <laughs> that's we couldn't even have time to watch the finale and then do this until we were at least settled in. Couldn't get on Instagram. Could not get on Instagram. Couldn't get on Twitter. Twitter. We have a friend who warned us that. Um, jay had posted on his instagram so then i was like well didn't say what it was was just like don't go on instagram because jay has posted about the finale about the finale which i would have assumed either way either way any any all of them yeah because famously i followed everyone since they were just posting gym selfies you can just say jay yeah and build up as we all remember from the start of the show was a a K-pop group for the second famously second world K-pop group with the second opinion with a world view second view second world view what the fuck what does that mean adam i mean that's that's nonsense language that is that there is no meaning behind that first of all at no point at the start of the show Did- i would say the first half of the show was the they word K-pop ever mentioned, like unless say, it was like... No, they specifically were like four... They said four vocal group. Yes. Always said vocal group. Mm-hmm. And then halfway through, were like, and oh, yeah, they're also K-pop. Oh, it's, Sorry. it is also technically K-pop. Yeah, girl. Which, like, I mean, if you are encompassing the broads, this is the thing. This is the constant conversation. Genre. Genre. Well, because Miss Cowboy Carter said, fuck genre, so... Who are we to ask what genre this is? That's true. This is the question. Is like, is K... So there's like K-pop in terms of just like, it is pop music from Korea. Mm -hmm. That is all that the term means. And it's like, one could say it's like lowercase K-pop. Right? If you want to distinguish the It's the the collective noun. Yes. It's theater, T-H-E-A-T-E-R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then there's theater, T-H-E-A-T-R-E, if you're pretentious, like we were. Uh, we're <laughs> past yeah, tense. We're so humble We're now. so normal. Anyway, Bertolt Brecht <laughs> told us that. But then there's K-pop, cap, capitalized K, capitalized P. Mm-hmm. And it's like the genre, genre. The, specific the specific sound, sound of K-pop. Yeah. Which like K-pop even in that genre, is still, like, wide-encompassing. Yeah. But there is a very specific, like, rigid structure, I would say. And they've made it a thing in the show, in the stories, in the people talking about their music. They're like, I usually sing K-pop. What type do you like to sing? Pop, K-pop. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like ballads. They've made it very specific. Mm-hmm. So that's why it feels like all the ballad, all the balladeers got eliminated, and they were like, well, now it's just a K-pop show. Yeah. That I wish a lot of the brace said it last week um, from the comments and on our Patreon that like, I wish that they did genre nights or specific challenges were tied to a specific style of music or the matchups could have been like, we're drawing and we're singing a K-pop song or we're well, both like, singing the only ballads. true Okay, the only true objective way, I mean, there's no objectivity. We've said this a thousand times. There's no it's objectivity sing, in sing art. sing every concept. Right. No, it would be oh. to sing the exact same song. All three of these groups sing the exact the same voice. song for the finale. That's what they do? Well, like, the voice is like, they face off, on their face-offs, on their... But it's not the same when song. When they get eliminated, they sing the same song. They sing the same song? Mm-hmm. And then, like, I mean, like, the finals of American Idol. Everyone sings... Well, in the earlier seasons, mm. they were like, 
both Justin and Kelly saying a moment like this. Mm, so like that. Yeah. So that's like the definitive. They both sing like, like this the quote unquote know. signal song, but instead it's the finale. Like, what would be your first single? That's the America. How they did it, American Idol. Yeah. That's what I'm. I think is like the technical way mm. to like solve the problem of like who sounds best, but that's not really the whole thing either. Yeah. Right. Because like, it's especially in a. Gr- this is the show is so confusing. The show is so confusing. I'm but- going to complain a lot about the show in this episode. This is probably still my second favorite. But see, that's the thing. It's still, I still enjoyed watching it so much I did too. because the crop of talent Ugh. feels the most unmatched. A hundred percent. There was no one, even more than Boys Planet, because just there's less people. There so was it, no Mimi. I'm first, right? Yeah, Someone who had no, to go home. There's no, yeah. You know what I mean? No pork chops. Right. In it, there had to be a pork chop, obviously, because people have to go home first. But right. like. No one was like it wasn't it there's no there no was no queens. casting where there was like oh like No Mayhem Fillers. Boys Planet, that first elimination. There were like a couple people yes, where it was they were like, like you're not ready. Right. Nowhere Raw near ready. dough. Yeah. 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 Play dough. Yeast. Girls, let's still yeast Girls, in the packet. It's it's on the stock. Where does yeast come from? I'm thinking of wheat. Yeah. Not yeast, which is a Germ. 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 <laughs> they want money. Sure. Fine. Yeah. So I think they, they want to make sure about... that these two con- year contracts actually, the girls will show up and show out. But I think that's where you just like have to trust the process a little and bit. And trust the concept that you're doing. Like, right. But here's the thing like, is, is BDU going to be doing like music videos they're gonna do choreo you know what i mean i don't want them i don't to, want them to but they're for people who are idols who can, so they can do it yeah that's why uh, i don't okay i'm gonna be very clear i don't think this was rigged blah 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 blah, no. blah. i toward the end i was like oh this jab narrative is so, so strong, strong that they're pushing but i think they're trying to just even it up because i think they knew that I mean, j is the most popular, especially if they knew it going at the end, it's going to be all viewer voting. I think they knew. Yeah. But I also thought. But I mean, like. So it's very interesting. The three packages of like background. It's like because the last package is like, why should they win? Why should they win? Right. And it's everyone's like, this is my last chance. I've tried this before. Da, right, da, right. Da, 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 da. But I thought. It's another opportunity. Hunman j specific Hunman j specifically was like. Minso, and that was pretty much it. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, you felt that way? Yeah, I mean, I they thought did... it was very even where they were all. The whole point of their, I even wrote it down. Their package was, we're so out of order. I'm so sorry. Was stagnation. We keep, we keep we are, like, hitting treading water. Like I thought it was like I keep working hard. Minso then... keeps saying like I keep seeing trainees go yes. and debut, and I'm stuck. Sunghoon is saying, like, I thought it was going to be fine with debutation. And then there was no holleration in, in this dancery. No. And then... <laughs> We're going to have to start paying her royalties anytime Mary we make that Jay joke. is going to demand She's going to She's going to send us these Every time, because I can't... I'm sorry. We it, use it so much. Debutation is the word. There's no other... Yeah. A debutante. Yeah. The only one that didn't really say that was Jay, because he kind of doesn't have the narrative right now. No, he's on like he's, a very strong trajectory. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But like even Bitsay on like had like a like I feel like we work really hard in and my nothing, group and like yeah. why aren't getting recognized, blah blah blah. Yeah. So I was like, oh, they're really pushing that for them. Jay Up's group, and I say it's Jay Up's group because that whole package, and yes, it was like his birthday, whatever. Yes. But the whole package was basically like Jay. here's Jay Up and his three friends that he's like made along the way. Yes. Because he, and then in that story, I think it is more because of his birthday, but he tells the story that like he was considering quitting. Mm -hmm. He was working at a cafe and was like, I, you know, this is, it's paying the bills and I'm actually getting, it gets to the point where like the getting paid becomes the validation you're looking for because you don't get that. Well, because you don't want to have to go to a job. Yeah. Period. 
period. Ibn da. Mm, you feel this way? I I can see you where you feel James this way on, on camera for your coworkers to see? You feel this way? <laughs> the package for Waterfire was like it was similar it was still the similar narrative, right? Mm. But theirs was more specifically like Suquan. They all came close to debuting in, in a show in a show specifically yeah but they never won, they never the, show. won the show mm-hmm. which is so crazy Hyun literally was like i was on loud but i was eliminated the first round so no one even knew well, it was also <laughs> very weird i would say like of everyone i felt like ung Hyun, those two specifically and bane but bane he wasn't really there so i understand yeah. that one those two specifically, I was like, oh, they're just not, they don't care. Like, they gave them, like, one line in each package. I know, and then, like, right? they were like, they're not interesting. It's so crazy. I barely got any Hyun, which makes me think maybe he's just a reserved guy. Like, I think he... Oh, I think he totally yeah. is. I think, you know, he's keying behind the scenes. He's he not... He is, yes. With you know what I mean? Yeah. There were votes leading up to, and then there were live votes. Yeah. And that's where the tally comes from. And it was 50% Korean... It was 50-50. 50-50, yeah. Which I thought was interesting. Because uh-huh. sometimes it's not. They name the group... Big Dick Energy. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> It's Boys Define Universe. I huh? just feel like the show is not going Where? to lead to a group called Boys Anything. Where are the... Was the did the production team swap out halfway That's through? That's what it feels like, right? It feels like halfway through they were like, oh, and then the people who Everyone got the flu, so we had to sub in. The people who originally came up with the show stopped. Or dropped dead. Or, or something. Quit. Went on strike. Had a career. Went on strike. They should. And we support unions. Uh, yeah. Where's boys love Teamsters? Um, Tell me what a Teamster is, RJ. <laughs> <laughs> it's the largest working union in America. I. It feels like the shark was jumped, like in episode. It's, it's hard to even tell. I really think going into the semifinals, it was like... I think it was the semifinals. I really think it was the last three episodes. Inviting people in, inviting an audience really changed the game for them. And it felt like Mnet went like, okay, and then we just make everything the same, right? Yeah, like so, it almost, so I get the quarterfinals. That then. I almost feel maybe it's not the team, but more like... Uh, Upper, upper, upper management. I think upper yeah. management was like okay. The boardroom. You had it was cute. You had your little balladeer singers, but we need people to watch. Uh huh. Because we're spending e- money, but like, but like, I don't know. I almost wish it was just. I just think like trust your thing, know. let it cement itself. People will talk about it for a year, and then next year you can come back with like build up girls, yeah. and then it's like you've girl up. You've like solidified the process. Yeah. And people have been like, just, this was really great start to finish. Because I just feel like it's such a br- breath of fresh it's air so from sh- other survival shows. It's so short-sighted. And like, if you even think about it, we have not much peak time, but the whole thing with peak time is like giving, giving you know, different peop- different groups, established groups, mm-hmm. like another chance. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like this had that same heart and really focused on the talent of vocals mm-hmm. that I just wish they, yeah, they just ran with it long. Like, went Saw the whole it way. through it to the end. Yeah, for sure. It's frustrating. It feels like the last probably seven, eight, nine, ten you know it, <laughs> feels sweaty. You know what it feels like? It feels like a good, a good group of All Stars girls getting All Stars three. Oh, and we'll throw a jury vote in at the end to ruin kind of like... The whole thing. To ruin the whole thing. So, heading into the finale, mm-hmm. Waterfire was in third from the online voting, Partners was in second, and Hunman J-Bit was in first. I kind of wish they had not even shared that. Yeah. Because, spoiler alert, that is the, the exact end. Same. It doesn't It's giving change. Queendom Puzzle semis to finals. Yes. And then they're like... But like that's you know what? We the Queen and Puzzle one, like that makes sense because like it was a whole episode ago, yes. right? Like that fine. This is This is giving like the, you don't need to tell me this. Yeah, it's giving at the finale of Fantasy Boys where they're like, and here are the 
Here are the finalists for the last. Do you know spot. what it's giving? Because it they do this because they're like, if I tell you the order, you might you might be like, oh, we gotta get partners to the end. So mm-hmm. then it switches. This is giving. This is how I know things aren't rigged, actually. And it's it's decisions like this. Yeah. The way I know the Oscars isn't rigged. Yeah. When they had set up best actor to be the last award Award presented the year Chadwick Chadwick was nominated for Ma Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Uh Because they- And guess what, girl? He He did not win. win. They like cut to his widow and like had her there to accept and everything. She was was ready to- She was ready. She was in the wings. Yes. And Anthony Hopkins won for- an for an incredible performance. performance in the father is that what it's called in, yeah yeah and he wasn't even and there he wasn't even there because he doesn't go because he doesn't go a real Catherine hepburn in that way and truly and oh that was when God, i was like that was when i was like then it's not rigged this she's is, they don't know they don't they know don't anything know, they don't know price warehouse cooper what is in that briefcase mm-hmm. and what production knows mm-hmm. production is just making a guess because do you think production thought that partners would win or they wanted partners to win. I don't think they're the way the packages play out to me. It I like, don't think they thought Waterfire was going to win at all. Yeah, I think they thought partners could. I think they make thought that part. I think they thought that Park Jeep's narrative is the most compelling from the entire show. And of I, all twelve people, for and sure. And I agree. I think I agree. I think it's fascinating. I think it's the because. Of how talented he is. And like... Because if he wasn't like... If he didn't have that voice... I want to say one thing too. Totally. That's because he had that voice. Totally. It's like, but how also can like, this person not There is an angle that they do not... They cannot, because it's Korea. They cannot talk about the angle of... He went to the military and came back and had nothing because I know because that's part of that's life that's what happens that's what happens if you I have know. nothing set up it's you come back to nothing yeah but they can't they indict can do that. Be the military own. in that yes. way yes yeah I know <laughs> which is like I mean I think we know that from idol culture but yeah. also like since we've seen so many dating shows now too <sighs> it's a big moment for it's for huge. Korean men yeah. of like I don't That's why so many of them do it like as soon as they're as out soon of high as school. they can yeah, yeah. cuz then you don't have anything anyway yeah but like if you delay it cuz the the guy from Change Days who was like I was I don't idol. think they pay you is that what it, what it was It's not like here because it's obviously cuz it's mandatory yeah, yeah. Listen, it's a very complicated issue, but yes, yeah, oy, yeah. Oy, 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 oy. okay. So the only thing I want to do before we talk about these Sims. performance halls, do you want to say anything about this Last Supper? It's so cute. It's giving. You said it was the Oscars luncheon. It, it was giving that energy. <laughs> a lot of Oscars talk this episode. I know. Um, and I thought it was fun. I mean, like they did like a truth or dare but they really only showed Jip and suhan which i didn't think they would actually kind of connect the pieces for that because i thought that's just something that we were seeing from suhan that he still pressed mm-hmm. but no they were like nope it's still there are resentments honey i think he's probably fine to be he's honest probably playing and it he was up, a little obviously playing for the up. show but i mean i just it's it's and neither of them even make it so it didn't even matter who cares yeah um that's really the only thing i think they also tried to do it with obviously with jay but that is clearly for like hyun and and umuti are like you know they're playing it up they're like drinking their water oh my god i am obsessed with them I want... I needed Bane in that I, room so bad. I know. I needed Bane in the room. Bane, I needed you in the room. In the room where it were, happened. Were there any combinations that you didn't happen that you wish you saw? I think Sisters is definitely one of them. Oh, God. I agree that Jay and Jayup should have sang together. Yeah. I yeah, think it's totally. crazy that that did not happen. Yeah. Especially because... Especially because, like... They don't, it's not like, like I would have never been like Gwangsak and Hyun should sing together because mm. they're like, they're two, two, they're out of two different books. Yeah. It's just that 
Jip is just very, I think, played the game really hard. I think Jip played the game really hard and Umuti played it really hard. I think Jay played it really hard too. Yes, but for Jay, I get more that he was still leading with like what he wanted to sing. Yeah. He, there, it uh, didn't. The strategy did not feel like it was first strategy in order to get to the end. Yes, Correct. he was like, "I want this oper- this round, the opportunity to sing this type of song." Yeah, so he went with that group. As well, so I do feel like Jayup and Umuti were trying to be like, "I need to show this side now in order to yeah formulaic formula yeah mm-hmm. but yeah, but it looks fun." Minso was eating those fucking noodles as if he had like never eaten before, which he's a trainee, so I'm sure. He, I'm sure he, it's been a while. He, it's giving. In college, you see, there's a club that's doing free food, so you oh, go girl. and you just. The, oh my god, I'm interested. Yeah, girl, the amount of samosas I ate, because Indian food was always the go-to for Oof. Indian and Thai were always the go-to for all the clubs. At our because it's so cheap but it's, it's so, so cheap and you just get good. giant things of oh it and you show up god. and you god okay should we talk about these performances yeah, let's go let's all ballads the they heard you so what yeah they did it was all ballads it was different types of ballads but it was all ballads for senti sure. all senti songs sentimental mm-hmm um so the first one was water fire they performed for perform first a a producer named prism filter and they wrote a song called now um and sakun came to visit them beforehand mm-hmm. what'd you think of the song adam what'd you think of the song what'd, what'd you, think you think of the of performances the first of all best fits of the day i know easily Easily, easily, I don't know easily. What the fuck everyone else was wearing? So, dr- why were they wearing? These were the only ones that fit. They were like fit head. I, I don't know what Human J Bit was wearing. Why are they wearing oversized black Who jackets? Who styled them? So weird. I did not like that it styling. Looked- it it was giving like wedding band. I it was giving like eighth grade jazz band. Like yeah. it was not it wasn't giving. That was the problem. <laughs> there was no give to be get gave. And then partners looked like a they walked through like a vintage store. Partners was like acceptable because it was like at least like they're all doing like blazers and yes. cool casual guy. And then Waterfire was like cunt. It was very chic. I couldn't tell if it was beige or rose gold, actually, now that I think so about it. So this is what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Dear you. Um, it was like a warm beige. Mm. So it had like a little like rosy hue yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, Because in like some lighting, it did look like a little pink, which yeah. I obviously loved. <laughs> You're in pink right now. Um. So this is like an, a real R and nineties R and B mom, for sure. It was. It was my favorite out of all of three songs. Really? Yeah. Whoa! But it's also like this is my vibe of music, like more R and B. Yeah, that's true. But their their harmonies specifically were the best out of all. Of them. They when they sang together, it was like it was one voice, cacophonous bitch, but not in a way. That is not the word you meant to say for sure. <laughs> Re- it was like genuinely good. And I, it was not when they sang together, it wasn't like they were like singing in unison. Like they don't have similar voices. That's why I was so impressed. Cause I was like, but that's the thing. It, they like, really fits. layered yeah. and stacked into each other. They really built up. You know what I mean? You could sigh. And even Uncle, or I think Sokun was the one who said like, Everyone almost feels like they have a part, mm-hmm. like a specific part to to complete the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And he said that Su Huan is like their wild card because it's like whatever you need, whatever extra you need, he will throw out a like he'll he'll do it. 
Okay, first of all, he said Hyun was the voice of the build voice up, of built up, which we knew and periodity. Okay, but two, Suhwan is that girl, and by that I mean these last two performances. Mm-hmm. Which revelatory. He was mad that he lost Jaya, but it was the best, best thing decision for him. Because he shined. He got to be the star. I know. And then I had this feeling where okay. I know. Think of your four person groups, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm only thinking of Blackpink, to be honest. Because I don't know I'm not like super, super familiar. I know mm-hmm. of a few four groups, but of the ones I know their specific thing. It feels like in a four group, there's always like the Say one. Say my name, mem- Destiny's Child. Cheetah Girls. Yeah. The yeah. iconic ones. We all know it. Yeah. And love. In the four in a four person group, there's always like one who's like the odd one. And so in like K pop, usually it's like and she does the rap. And she does the rap. It's yeah. Lisa. Hyun in a vocal group fills that role of being like oh that's the that's the, the spice. unique voice yeah that's the uh, um that's the turmeric is that a spice correct no that's a spice but is that one that you would use in that way <laughs> adding a little sour cream to your sugar cookie recipe you gotta <laughs> you gotta it's good guys i it sounds crazy put sour cream in your christmas cookies or the almond extract in a sugar cookie Oh, well, that's, I mean... But that's more common now. Enough vanilla extract. Yeah. Enough. Only criticism I have of this... Not even the performance, really. Mm-hmm. Song? No. The four of them. Um, and then I have one final thing I have to say about Sonyol. I had, I have to say it. Mm-hmm. They don't feel like a group to me. They do. They do feel like... They feel like leftovers. Four people and i can't and tell they're doing their if best. it's because i know they are they're doing their best but they there's no it doesn't feel connected Mm-mm. when they're on stage correct there's no like they're so good thread. and they sound great but they don't have like team chemistry yes. they feel like the top four of like a f- of a show Mm-hmm. And they have to like, like a sing a number. Yeah, yeah. And I can't tell, like in like in an in a trainee survival show where they're like all living together. You just start to build. You have to build relationships, build relationships with these people. Them, they don't really have to. But they I can tell, only see each other like once a week or whatever. Yeah, I can tell that they're also different personalities. It's very clear. Like mm-hmm. I think Sunyal is like a go getter. Suhuan and Umuti, I think. I mean, Umuti said, like, I thought Suhan was going to be a- annoying, but I can tell it's because their personalities probably clashed. Because I think yeah. they both are very headstrong. I think they're both very headstrong, And then yes. I think Sunyol is the re- is the reason why the- he's the leader, because I think he... He is the Songmin of he's the... He's the Songmin, oh, Songmin, of the, mm-hmm. of the cr- Rush Hour. Yes. yes. He's mm-hmm. like, let's... Calm down. Mm-hmm. And Hayun is Takuto, obviously. And Hayun is Takuto, because he can't dance. <laughs> Takuto can dance now. Takuto can dance now. Okay. Obviously, he's <laughs> killing the J-pop scene. Um, Nothing but respect for Haruto's son. <clears throat> I've thought lot and hard about this. <clears throat> say this whole show. Say I'm, say, I'm going to say right to this camera. Mm-hmm. This whole show, I have said to myself, who who is the one? Who is the girl? Who is the one that I am? I, purely visuals, right? Well, actually, not no. just visuals. No. Who is it? And like, Jab's hot, and he seems nice, and we know what Jay Cheng looks like, and you know there are many, many. We've seen someone live, you know. Yes. Um. Many people are very. We're very attractive on the show. I right now can tell you. Oh, of all of the people on the show. You're most attracted to Sanyol? I would risk it all for Sanyol. Wow. He is like really attractive. Uh-huh. But also like bright and seems so sweet. 
that I would I would I mean, crumble. Don't you have- if we ran into each other at a bar? Oh yeah, I would not. I would have to leave the bar. <laughs> I would have to leave. I would have to remove myself from the situation. Oh. I mean, obviously, it's no surprise to anyone here that I am attracted to people who are very sweet and kind. But, ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. And it doesn't help that his voice is so high. So high. And so sweet. And just, like, it sounds like he's constantly, like, smiling. I know. I, it w- he would ruin my life. Mm-hmm. It, would, it would not be good. It would not be good. Honestly, Put Sunil in a BL. He is so perfect. Like, that, like very um, Gong Chan from oh, UNA4. Yes, yes, yes. Like that kind of role yes. where it's like, I'm... It, ingenue. He has to yeah. be an ingenue. But even like, I could see him in like, in like a musical. Oh, totally. And I'm sure <laughs> he's done. The first musical I thought it was how to succeed in business without really trying. Which I think is like a more, it's not of the traditionally like hard masculine role. That's what I'm saying. You need like a, like a, a affable, sweet, that's the energy. On the street where you live? Um, no, too much? because I don't, um, Oh, you don't think? <laughs> I don't like my fair lady, so. I know, but the show is bad, but that role is a good is Affable. it what tell me about Anjana tell me about role. that role because he just he basically falls in love with her and then sings he the song falls in love at first sight yeah and then you you don't hear from him again yeah and then he just drops off the face of the earth would it be would he be a good He's a classic mo- prince charming role yeah you know he'll be a great model just so, in general is that his name model oh model yes model model <laughs> Mir- he'd be a, he'd be a great mir- yeah, he'd be a great Miracle in Miracles. I'd love to see him play so um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Model the Taylor and Fiddler on the Roof. Ashkenazi. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. I would I bet he I would, would sound to, great. Yeah. Actually, it might be He has such a high voice, it might be too low for him. Let's mm. let's let's key change her. Let's throw her up. Yeah. Take it up. I mean, model's a great role because model. I can't believe we fully delved into this. I'm so sorry. Okay. Model, you get to like have the fun of the first act, and then you get to leave I know. and don't come back. Uh huh. No, that's not true. He's in the town the whole time. They have a kid. He gets the sewing machine. We know. We just saw we it. We just saw it, girl. There are so many more people that I'm like thrilled to know about now, yeah, especially exactly. in the like singer-songwriter front, which I feel like I knew way less about than I did heading into the show. Yeah. So I really hope... uh, I mean, I would love Hayun to do more stuff. So... Oh. Baby. And I'm truly like, he... I do think the star of this number is Su Juan, though. (laughs) Oh, 100%. But I also feel like... And this is for all three songs. Mm -hmm. I think this was the best distribution of the parts. Yeah. Because I felt like no one, of course, there were like specific lines and songs mm-hmm. that are like really stand out. But like I felt like everyone, everyone had a got good to place to shine. Yeah. Yes, yeah, especially in partners. So let's talk about yeah. partners. So partners did a song called "Your Season," um, written by Thirteen or produced by Thirteen, I should say. Who do they do for La Seraphim? Um, we already talked about their package, so let's just talk about this performance. This is my favorite performance mm. of the night. Now, that being said, I will always... You put a fucking string instrument in the in the backing, in the arrangement. You're done. Goodbye. Good night. And good luck. Mm-hmm. Because I'm... <laughs> I was weeping yeah. at this. I, it's to a point now where if Dongan starts singing a ballad, I can't look at him in the face because he is so expressive. How many he has, like, theater ple- directors are pissed that this man is not in theater? How oh many? Oh my God. And I'll name him. I'll name him. Me. <laughs> Mary Zimmerman. <laughs> Stupid. 
Yeah. Julie Taymor. Name a third. <laughs> There's so many who <laughs> need not be named. Need not be mentioned. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, he's great. I can't. I mean, it's it's even stupid just saying that because it feels like I'm being reductive by saying how good he is. I know. Jayup. I really thought they were going to win the show I really, in this episode. Yeah. Just because I, I don't know, something about that narrative was so strong that I was like, "Wow, they are They're really, really doing it." Yeah, directing it. Mm-hmm. I think I was worried about Bane because his first song in the show was like a a ballad and Mm -hmm. they had given him the critique that it didn't sound like the songs that he would want to sing. I thought he did a good job. We kept talking about how he literally flew right in from fucking tour and then had to fly right out. So he, I think- From Denver, wasn't it? Wasn't it the Denver show? So I I could tell- I could tell that he and is met pr- all the members. Gonna touch your face, girl. I can't. I would have no. It would have been bad. It not. Nope. I think it was meant to be that we didn't see them. I think it was meant to just be. Yeah. <laughs> I do think that Bane did better, but I also think that he. I didn't get a lot from him, but he did have that big yes. note that I was like, "Oh, I know." So, that's when I. That's when I was like, "They're really trying to feature each member in their own way." In their way, yeah, yeah. Because Ung had that like low rap, so I was like, "That's true." Oh, that's fine. And then he came back and he had like a really soft higher part later, mm-hmm. and I was like, "This is like such a wonderful like yeah. breadth of his talent that I'm really getting able to like." I was so thrilled in the mm-hmm. way that this episode like. These songs, I don't think they're like the most exciting songs I've ever heard in my life, but that's not really the point. Like the point is just to feature to these feature vocalists, the, yeah, the performers, and I think that these really Especially nailed that challenge. These songs aren't for quote unquote a score, right? They're really just the last appeal. You know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just it's I I hope I really hope. Mm-hmm. That Dongan and Jeb keep singing together. <laughs> I think they want. I mean, really it's very clear they it's want to. It's very clear to. that they really like it. Yes. And they sound. B- it almost like when they started duetting in the middle of the song, I was like, of course they're doing it. Of course it. they're but duetting like, it. And then you're I'm like, I'm thrilled oh, that it's how happening. Is this, how does the sound. How does it keep getting better? Because it's like, I've already heard them sing. T- the first time we heard them sing mm-hmm. in this damn show was together. Mm-hmm. I think this song was crafted in a lab for me, specifically, because it sounded like... I I wanted it... Great song. I want this to like be extracted from this and then made a, like, a mm. duet in a musical. Because it's so Yes, it felt big. very musical theater, didn't it's it? It's so performative. It felt very... Uh, like it could carry a plot. <laughs> totally. Like it could carry like something. Yeah. To we should the make. Story. We should do a Mamma Mia and make make a jukebox musical of all of the original all the show, build up songs, or just or any just, song that they didn't build. Oh, up. done, <laughs> done. It's gonna be a BL, and it's gonna be a BL. <laughs> it's gonna start Hayoon, girl, <gasps> and it's gonna start Hayoon. No, Hayun, no, Sunyul. Hayoon's the friend. Hayoon is the Hayoon's movie. the friend. Sunyo, this is crazy. We're out of we're control. out of control. Should we talk about the last song? Should we talk about who Sunyo's uh, partner would be? Um, it's hard because he's tall. Yeah, but you need it to be like a colder person because he's so sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> could you imagine? I could. Okay, let's talk about Hunmin Jaybit. Okay, Hunmin Jaybit do a song called Hug Me, but also at some points the subtitle that Hold Me. So mm, who knows? Who knows? Um, And it is a rock belt. I did not write down who the producer was, but they have a ton of credits. 
Uh, it's a rock ballad. That was the other thing. It was like each ballad was it's, it's still its own type mm-hmm. of ballad. So it wasn't, it was still varied enough that I was like, oh, this is good. Um, we talked about the narrative of like stagnation. Um, what did you think? I did like the song. It was clearly meant for this group. Hundred it was and the fifty percent. And the producer said that he was like, I had you guys like you were the ones in mind for the song, basically. Mm-hmm. My only critique, you said it, that like the ending was just cut so short, there was no closure. We to just it. dropped off a cliff. Minsa sounds so good in this song. Yes, Jay sounds fucking amazing, but Minsa, every this song was like, oh, he sounds so good. I thought, I thought this one of all four, of all, yeah, was like split into four equal pieces of a pie. Because it was like, I was so, I felt like I got exactly the same amount from each person. Yeah. Like their critique last week was like, Jay feels like the star of the show and you're his backup dancers. Yes. And like, Jay was in comparison mm-hmm. to other weeks, like underused. You totally. But like, it was so nice to, to elevate be able to everyone like, else. Yes. Yeah. And I think it's No like, growl. And he listened to my note. And he listened to your note. He said- Miss Mad Miss Madam said no. Miss Madam, I'm Miss Madam, and yeah. welcome to Watch Mojo. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought yeah, I thought Mince when Minso started the song, I was like, it was very them. I thought it was like very catered for their talents, but it was during this song that I was like, I think they're gonna win. They just feel like the correct winner. Do you know what I mean by that? Okay, so, yes. They feel like... They feel the exact opposite of Waterfire. They feel like the chemistry is so strong, Mm -hmm. right? It's not a milky up. It's not a milky up, but... Guys, this... Yesterday, I was like... Oh, my God. I was like... I was like, oh, my God. Milky up. Build up. I didn't know. I didn't know why. I just was like, why are they called Milky Up? up? What's yeah, the up I just part? was like, okay. I did not put it together. Stay in school, Bray. <laughs> they felt like the correct winner because they, I feel like, embody what the show was trying to do. Even though we said, like, they feel like they changed course. Right. It still feels like this was the best choice to make for like a survival show group to win. I think the Waterfire, because they're, like you said, they had the leftover storyline. It would have been too too crazy if they won. Yeah. And I think the partners is so strong on J-Up. This truly felt like they had a unified story of this group together mm-hmm. that I was like, that's, that's the storybook ending that mm-hmm. they really want to yep. tell. I agree. It's giving. There are like drag race winners that I'm like, yeah, you were like the correct choice. I would have loved a goop and gag, but like this felt like the right choice. Yeah. Um, Like a Jimbo, you know, like a, like a Jinx at All Stars, truly, where mm-hmm. it's like, this feels like correct. That's what I was saying like last week. I was like, I mean, If it really is a show where they're going to reward, and they're not rewarding, like it's audience voted, but like if you're going to reward the person or the group, I should say, that like made all the right decisions and like played, not just played the game, but like really gave excellent performances week after week and like Mm -hmm. really put their heart and soul into it. And it didn't ever feel, I mean, really, Jay even says, like, in this episode, like, the only reason he broke up the fi- Fever team was because he was like, I wanted to try something new, and I felt like... I, I That's what I did with you guys, yeah. and so now I get to do it again. Right. Yeah. I mean, t- <sighs> here's the thing. Now, now looking back at that, when they were to shake, disband the team in order to create a new one that will carry them to literally the end, like, mm-hmm. your team now will be what the team will be Mm -hmm. that you end with if Mm -hmm. you win 
it just makes sense. It makes sense to be for, especially for Jay to, to be like team. to break up the team and to also pick someone that you already have a great relationship with yep. that you want to create music with someone who is like an all rounder like you. Mm -hmm. So you know that they have the same kind of passion, dedication, and like the skill sets that if we, if this is something we want to do, if we want to dance, whatever. Right. And, and someone then, who's an unknown and then someone commodity. who's exciting because you want to fall in love with them and see what they, yes. what they can do. Yeah. It's so smart. Yeah. And I, I don't necessarily think Jay led with that decision, but I think just how seasoned he is with shows and now with, you know, like two K-pop careers. I think he's mm -hmm. just like, how is this? If I win this, how is this but going also, to be different not, than what I do? The other thing too about this group is that it's not a group where it's like, oh, and then he just formed like four random people exactly. that like fit to the mold. Around. Yeah. Like they still like work together really well. Yeah. They sound great as a unit. Like, they they can all run in the same kind of lane together. Mm -hmm. Like it's nobody's too outside of like yeah. the parameters of what this is for it to not feel like it. Oh, it's also like a, a cohesive group yeah. of four people. Genuinely, after Flower, I felt like I think this is the right direction. Mm -hmm. Personally, obviously, I said like I was rooting for Waterfire just because it would be a great. Well, I mean, gag. I said I was rooting for him in JPIT, so obviously, I won. You're correct. I was correct. Yeah, I just it it just they not just voices fitting well, but mm -hmm. really like personalities mm -hmm. fitting well, and that's I mean that's part of creating a group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they all had really good narratives. They're all like. I mean, I, I think if he hadn't put Mince on this group, it might have not worked as well. I totally Only agree. because if he had like everyone like, else was known on the show. Yeah. He was the one, Minso was the one wild card to be like, yeah, exciting to follow. Yeah. It, and like, he, you get to see his like wide eyed, like yeah. optimism about yes. the whole thing, which is very sweet and very endearing. And the thing yeah. that I always come back to, which is like, this is why I like this. Yeah. It's because and that's you why like people to see, tune in and will vote. You like to see people's dreams coming true. Yeah. yeah. It's very nice. Even like Jay collapsing into tears, like literally because they won is wonderful to see. Mm hmm. For someone who worked really hard. So hard. Every round. And I'm sure was having flashbacks of last year being like. I, when they were standing three to three. Yep. He looked like he was about to throw up. Because you could tell his body was just having a reaction of, of like. all I 12 just people on that this. stage, he looked like he was going to be sick. I know. I thought it was really weird though. They showed Jay and not. Yes. Sean, I know. Because they showed Sunyol, Jay up, who were both the leaders of their groups. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, Jay and yeah. not Bitsayan. Like super quick on so the group weird. number where they sing finale by B2B. Really more the big takeaway for me was Minsoff finishing at the end, he got the button of the song and I started crying because it was for him it was like if this is over I know. Then it's over. And it's like, oh baby, I know that feeling. I've seen I too know. many damn survival shows know. now. I know. That I was like, oh, and the fact that he Jay was looking at his camera it was so Jay, exciting, yeah. and they were able to like give him that moment. You could tell all of his like all of his youngs, all of his somebody names, like felt like yes, like you get to have this moment. And this like is you deserve, moment. it's very deserved. Totally, because he came in with no expectations. Mm -hmm. He literally said, "I thought I was going to get out right away," mm -hmm. because he's like, "Why would people vote for me? I'm no one." Mm -hmm. But then. And then he showed out every performance. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I mean, like, this is so exciting. Go, obviously, like, I hope this, like, helps Sung Hoon and CIX and, like, this uh, out, totally. helps their, like, numbers. And, like, yeah. I, I'm i so excited to, like, delve more into, like, what Mont is and, like, what they can do. Because mm -hmm. I loved that song that we listened to or we reacted to. Yeah. And obviously, like, Jay is on, I mean, this is, she like, is meteor meteoric. Jay, yeah. From last year. Truly. Mm -hmm. It's giving very... Where I'm sure he was, like... It's very It Boy. Totally. K-pop It Boy energy. In a way that's... 
in a way that's not trying to emulate the, a trajectory. It's like it feels like his unique path. He's also doing a very good job of being like I'm cock confident but not cocky yeah like when unquang came and did the whole thing of being like who thought they who were thought gonna, they be, were the gonna finale, be the finale and all three of them were like no and he was like, and he was i like, was hopeful <laughs> i was you know had a wish yeah i wanted to be there and he was like okay i got you but like i don't of course jay anyone with a brain who went into the show knowing who jay was and, and knowing the like fandom around jay was like he's and, going to the finale and hearing how he sings too of course like, it has nothing but yeah your your fandom can only get you so far you have to have real talent for them to, for there to be enough people to like keep. and his talent is like one of a kind it's so good he's oh so genuinely good at this if, and if he loves he loves to, to do, do it. it even if he had like z- there could be a hundred people in the room okay i've heard you know this saying? okay so if the, if there could be a hundred people in the room okay and no one was a jay chang fan but if there was one jay chang fan there who believed in I, him there could be a hundred people in the room and a hundred people would say that they don't want to listen to jay chang no there could be a hundred people, people in the room, room and 99, and 99 people, people say, say they, they don't, don't like, jay, like chang, jay chang but only one but person one person needs to give him the opportunity. Give him and that was bradley and that was Unquang. that is do you know how old that movie is when it came out in 2017 i think we would ha- we i would, would if they came to any city like if they went to only la and i yeah, would go i would fly to la 100 percent, totally i bet it would be in the forum you are know? you trying to score points with like la people <laughs> no, like i don't even know i just i don't think it's gonna be like huge but it's like a good amount. Oh, you don't think good, they're gonna play so far <laughs> no i don't think they're gonna play oh, so far crazy yeah <laughs> what are they go- what is what is bdu going to be yeah because, like, fine, this was the show. They I now have four people who if they are do, If idols. they do make K- capital K-pop, I could see it being like Flower, where there's maybe a little... Di- no, I want them to stand and sing. I want them to stand and sing. If this first album goes well, and it's, like, received really well, and everyone's, like, very high on it, then they'll keep in that lane, which I'm assuming is probably the baked-in, like, ballad maybe? yes that's mm. what i'm guessing because they basically have all this pre-packaged before they like Whoever even start yeah. doing the show yeah Got a good point. like how fucking long was wake one sitting on in bloom mnet sitting on in bloom yeah you know what i mean yeah they knew what they were gonna do that's why boys planet was like so fucking gay you're right adam I know. That that's makes why, sense. That that's makes why a lot I of said sense. that. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So w- how was your overall experience with Build Up? Mm. It was great. I loved it. I really had a great time. I, had a I great think time. the performances and the talent by far. We were we were over re- we were over rewarded with absolutely. incredible performances. With incredible, absolutely. The absolutely. fact that there are multiple performances from this show where I could be like, this is on my top 10 of the year. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. (laughs) It's kind of giving. That's amazing. Anything you want to finish? I just wanted to say during our reaction, um, (laughs) RJ uh, said that Min saw, this is what was going through Min saw's, when they won, Mind yeah. when they won, um, he said, "Minsaw's like, girl, I'm thrilled, bitch. Do you foresee Minsaw as the type of person to say, girl, I'm thrilled, bitch? Because he was like smiling. Because Bitsayan, Sangun, and Jay were distraught in emotion, and Minsaw was." joyous yes because he's fucking Jay looked like he was gonna pass out bitsan looked like he was gonna throw up 
And Sun Sun was trying was so like, hard not to cry not because to cry. he's he was about to ball. And Min Saw was like, I am getting paid fucking, to do what I lo- want to do. Thank finally, God. Finally, I'm finally freed from the Starship Dungeons. Yeah. <sighs> That's it. What a That's crazy it. way to start the year. Didn't think we would fall in love. Did not think, Did not think this was going to happen. Yeah. So let's just just think about that, Adam. Just be open to things that you didn't think was going to happen, but you know maybe the power of the talent that could come from a show may compel you to to watch and react and recap. Let's just so just keep an open mind. I did last year, and then PO One didn't even debut with the group, so no, (laughs) I cannot relive. That really is the hardest part about Survivor Show, especially doing a show live. I mean, with everything, even if we do a BL show that's live, it's like. If it doesn't end well. If if halfway through we're like, this isn't good anymore, unfortunately, we're stuck. We're stuck in and keep we have doing, to keep it. doing it. Yes. So that, you know, the girls I know always are like, do this, do this, do this. That's a real risk that we have to like. I mean, we have, we go to the labs. We have to be well, like. We're doing our Bunsen's we're doing our and our Bunsen's beakers. And our beakers meep, meep. We really have to think about like, will this show Will the show be good? Because it's a lot of effort. Is that is that my Muppet? Is that who I look like? Oh, yeah, girl. <sighs> the Ampliverse.